Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an unboxing of Grindelwald's wand. Now if you live in Melbourne or Queensland you will know of a little store called the Store of Requirement. If you live anywhere else in Australia or anywhere else in the world, um, in Australia it has offers free shipping Australia wide so if you want to get your hands on a copy you can and you don't have to pay shipping. That's a great bonus. If you're from another country you can buy these from any sort of Warner Brothers stores or I believe Noble Collection itself. So let's get into the unboxing and have a look at what Grindelwald's wand looks like before the Elder Wand. Magic! So this is the box it comes in. Now it's very different from a lot of the Noble Collection ones. Um, this is Warner Brothers. It does say Warner Brothers on the bottom. So it does look like it's created by Warner Brothers itself. Not sure if it's created by Noble Collection because they haven't put their stamp on it. So do not quote me on either. I'm not entirely sure, but it is official merchandise. So it comes in this nice black box. And as you can see, Grindelwald is... Well, it's actually a sticker under there, but it kind of looks foil printed, which is really, really fun. And on the ends, it is green. It does not have his name written on either end. I just double checked just then as well. <laughs> it doesn't have his name on the end. So if you're using it as a display piece where you have them stacked up, you cannot see his name. But I'm sure you could print something out if you really wanted to. So to get it out, I hope that was going to work or else it would just look very awkward with me pushing on one end of this. Ah, it is completely green. So as you can see, it's completely green. We have the Harry Potter logo on this side, as well as the Warner Brothers trademark down there. And we have, it says Grindelwald on the top. And it is a sticker. I could peel it off if I wanted to, but I don't want to. So we open it up. And we have this little bit of foam, which keeps it safe. Never reject the foam. And here we have the wand. If you have not seen his wand before the Elder Wand, here is your first sneak peek. That's getting the light quite nicely right there. Ooh. It looks like a twisted branch with these red thorns on it. So ooh, we're going to take it out and we are going to have a look. So here it is, it is like this beautiful twisted branch. So we get a nice little label with it, with the official Warner Brothers logo on the back. And it of course says Grindelwald on the top. Beautiful. So I could attach it if I wanted to. I'm just not sure where on the wand I would attach it to. I also worry about damaging it. Because it's such a twisty, twisty little beauty, um, I'm worried about damaging it. I'm worried about like the, th the red thorns on it, I don't want to damage those. And it wouldn't have a metal core because it is bendy bendy. So I'm just worried about breaking it a little bit. I know these are specifically designed to go on the wands. I just get a little bit neurotic. So this is the beautiful wand of Grindelwald. As you can see it catching the light right there. It is a stunner. I actually prefer this wand to the Elder Wand. Plot twist. Um, the Elder Wand I think I've just seen too many times. It was in the original movies. Now Grindelwald has it. And it's just... It's the Elder Wand. We, we know the Elder Wand. We've been with the Elder Wand. We have the Elder Wand story. It's life story. It's romances. It's <sighs> puberty, you know. We've heard everything about the Elder Wand. So we never actually really officially see this wand in the movies. Because by the time we see Grindelwald in these movies, he already has the Elder Wand because he stole it when he was a child. Well, not a child, but like young adult. Um, one of the most interesting things I found out about Grindelwald was that he actually went to Durmstrung's. So where, and I'm probably saying that really wrong, I'm so sorry, I know um, in the movies the majority of people who said it had a very different accent to me. Um, so please forgive my Australian accent and trying to say Durmstrung's. Victor Crumb is quaking. So um, I, I was always wondering why Grindelwald didn't have an accent maybe mildly similar to, to Victor's because obviously they're meant to be living in well I've heard Slovenia but I've also heard that 
on the maps on Pottermore, they're a little bit lower than this. So, but we're, we're looking at, you know, some of those real northern snowy countries in Europe. And yet Grindelwald went, and with a name like Grindelwald, you know, I was expecting, you know, Dermstrung's Grindelwald, this kick-ass wand. I was expecting a really cool accent. Throwing in people like um, Johnny Depp and Jude Law and all these very famous faces, it's taking away from the Harry Potter experience. When I see Grindelwald, I just see Johnny Depp as Grindelwald. It's a shame that they don't get Jamie Campbell Bower to play him. Um, Jude Law, I could definitely accept, but it's the fact that there's so many famous faces now that now I just see it as Jude Law as Dumbledore. And it's a real shame. I feel like the more famous faces you throw into a movie as interesting and authentic as the Harry Potter movies, the more you lose some of the magic and the sparkle that made Harry Potter what it was. They didn't need famous people in the originals. Why do they need them in these sequels? Anyway, here is his beautiful wand. I'm going to stop my rant here because you probably do not give a toss what I think. I reckon that probably blurred out when I got a bit quick. I'm sorry. My camera does not autofocus. And that's a... Woo! So here it is. We also do have the trademark on there. Now, I'm sure actually, funnily enough, if you were to buy these from a, a bit of a, a dupe. Is that how you say it? Dupe, dupe, dupe. Sorry. Australian accent again. I only hear like Americans say that word, so it's probably come out sounding really weird. If you could find a company that does a bit of a duplicate, I'm sure it's something that wouldn't be difficult to find a copy of and have it look good. Because even if they could just get this, like the actual shape right, I'm sure it would be easy to paint and maybe scratch up a bit yourself. So it wouldn't be difficult to replicate or find another copy of this instead of the official if you're somebody who isn't an official collector. But please be an official collector because it's really fun. Join us. Thank you very much for joining me on this video. It's just a little unboxing of Galert Grindelwald's wand. I really hope you enjoyed it because I love collecting wands. I have started and I really hope you will join me on this journey. Yay! See ya!